Now, going over to the culture part of the podcast, you have Rosie O'Donnell talking to squirrels um, about the Supreme Court ruling with Donald Trump. Some might say she's slipping, but some might say she just never had it. Now, this is brought to us thanks to Endwokeness on X Twitter. And when she says, quote, Rosie O'Donnell fights back tears after the United States Supreme Court ruling. Reach out to your friends for help. Boy, I pray. And I, I, I apologize. I, this, I already had the picture and picture set up. I should have had a disclaimer because your eyeballs might might not melt, but they might turn back into your head. You're going to see Rosie O'Donnell. And I, so I apologize for that. This is a little graphic, probably not family friendly, to be honest. But, yeah, it's uh, only 48 seconds. Not too, not too long, but it might feel like an eternity. Well, a few instances where I usually say their voices are infinitely better than mine, but in this case, it might be a coin toss. But nevertheless, let's hear what Rosie has to say. And I would say, F minus for marketing. I don't know who's in charge of her wardrobe, but those glasses, I mean, they are good looking glasses. Don't get me wrong. And I'm not a fashion aficionado, but I don't know where she found those. I mean, they just look the dumbest glasses I've ever seen. And I've seen a wide myriad of glasses. And I have family members of glasses. You know, I might have some someday. I wouldn't, yeah, I don't know who chose those frames. Those are the squirrels talking. <laughs> they probably want more walnuts. All right, I'm going to go feed them. Listen, I'm depressed myself, but I'm trying to tell you out there, if you are, you got to hold on. We've survived all the depressing days so far. We'll survive this one. Reach out for your friends for help. Tell the people that uh, you love how you feel. I didn't know she did stand up. This is kind of hilarious. Really? It is ridiculous that there are allegedly adults who are breaking down and crying this week. Like, really? And, um, know that this country, I believe, is going to right itself and oust him for good in November. And, uh, boy, I pray. That's all I got to say. TikTok, you don't stop. Jeez. I mean, it's almost sad what she's become. And it's just reminiscent of, you know, one of the most epic lines in political history of Donald Trump, where he had, what is it, Megyn Kelly grilling him, saying, you call women fat, ugly, and pigs. And he, you know, ushered up, he goes, only Rosie O'Donnell. Which, that's gotta be one of his top 20 political moments, as hilarious that, as that is, well, in terms of speeches. But it went pretty well. I got 850,000 views and 4.9 thousand likes. And yeah, I don't know why people take celebrities seriously. Left or right, celebrity worship is ridiculous. Got their eagle man. One of the first responses comes from President Trump broke Rosie O'Donnell again. LL getting 3.6 thousand likes. Paul Zupa says, quote, Rosie O'Donnell doesn't seem to care about the millions of Americans suffering under Joe Biden. Getting 1.1 thousand likes. Planet of Memes says these people literally have mental health issues, getting 462 likes. Which, yeah. The Texas one says liberal tears are delicious, getting 56 likes. Let's see. Oh, no way. This. I'm not saying she buy a lottery ticket. Mathematically, it's one of the most, biggest waste of money on the planet. But did we get lucky in this? This is an iconic clip right here with Trump. Brian says back when Trump roasted Rosie down. It is. We've seen it, but. Some things just are, are worth watching more than once. It's only about 33 seconds. Why the heck not? One of the things people love about you is you speak your mind and you don't use a politician's filter. However, that is not without its downsides, in particular when it comes to women. You've called women you don't like fat pigs, dogs, slobs, and disgusting animals. Your Twitter account Only is Rosie several... O'Donnell. No, it wasn't. That's the reason we do it on a crowd in this video on Biden. And I got 328 likes. Another repost, General TM, same thing. Got 173 likes. What is this? Viva Free says, for, the second, I, for a second, I thought Keith Oberman got new glasses, which look pretty similar. You got 615 likes. Hi, I'm Kelly Joe says, does anyone care what Rosie says? Getting 128 likes. Zaki Zosha says agreed and it's a picture of donkeys it says you can lead a liberal to truth but you can't make them think 194 likes classic co-group says another one it says trunk derangement syndrome find a cure getting 237 likes Kevin Smith says this is hilarious because let's be real there's no chance she even read the ruling correct getting 310 likes 
I even have friends on the Facebook where they immediately typed out, oh yeah, this is Supreme Court means, you know, Trump can use, they can use SEAL team, SEAL team 6 to assassinate their opponents. Which, again, just, just read a summary of it. Don't listen to the leftists or my orgies off a rocker, to say the least. But just actually, just read a summary. It's within their purview. So they can't do illegal acts. Now, scrolling down, Sherry says they're trying to take down America, getting 106 likes. Glenda says Rosie thinking anyone cares about her opinion on the Supreme Court decision is wild. They got 288 likes. Let's see here. Nickel bags of freedom, as Rosie must know, not know how embarrassing. I'm sorry. Should we list? This might be painful. This might be an extra minute. Let's see what she has to say. What a day, ladies and gentlemen. What a day to go down in infamy, to never be forgotten, honestly, as we come to celebrate the signing of the Declaration of Independence 248 years ago. You can count? And what does it mean this 4th Impressed. of July? Not a lot, according to the Supreme Court. Court, because... Keep in mind, one of the people that she lists on the Supreme Court can't define what a woman is. She actually said... When someone asked Katachi Brown during the interview process, or glorified interview process, I'll never forget, they asked her, again, this is very important for legal issues, there are cases that are decided on this, they, because they literally asked her, oh yeah, can you tell us the difference between a man and woman? Brown said, oh, um, I'm not a biologist. Uh-huh. Yes, although no one is above the law is really the foundation of this nation, apparently the president is above the law. And he could hire anyone to kill anyone False. and be immune from prosecution. Oh, that's funny. Someone actually spliced in the... Oh, yeah, the flood effect. Yeah. Yeah. Spoiler alert, if you didn't follow Obama presidency, he actually killed American citizens without due process over in the Middle East with drone strikes, including a father and son. Which would mean, I assume, that President Biden has that same right. Right now. Yep. So that was a little painful. But 15 likes. Let's see here. Going down more and more. Ace Chef says, cry harder. I'm thirsty. November is going to be great. And so Compass is Liberal Tears. I got 76 likes. So. Old Rosie. Fascinatingly enough, she is still culturally relevant. There are millions of people who follow her. And. Oh, here's a good. What is it? Or Mama says there's something similar here, but I can't quite put my finger on it. It's Rosie O'Donnell and me, Robert De Niro, looking shockingly similar. In 25 likes. So, it'll be interesting to see how many people continue to worship celebrities left and right. I mean, she's so wildly successful on social media. People follow her. But, yeah, let's just say... There's definitely a lack of knowledge when it comes to this week in the Supreme Court ruling. I'm not surprised that most celebrities, and who knows, maybe they're just getting, being paid or incentivized to do so. Very few celebrities and people are actually reading through the summary, and they're already playing people much more than me breaking it down eloquently on the YouTube. But let me know, do you think she'll always be culturally relevant? Maybe. But time shall tell. Thank you, everyone, for taking the time to tune in. Again, trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So if you could click that button, I would greatly appreciate it. Also, leaving a thumbs up, thumbs down, or a comment is a great way to give me some additional feedback, letting me know how I can make the show better and better. Lastly, don't forget to take the time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe, fight the good fight.